Have you ever stood on the ground and wondered what's happening miles beneath your feet? Deep under the stunning landscapes of Yellowstone National Park, one of the most powerful geological forces on our planet is stirring. And recently, something caught the eye of scientists and the public alike, a large crack that appeared in the ground. This isn't just any crack, it's a potential clue, a message from the Earth itself. What is it telling us? Could this be a sign of shifting geological activity in one of the world's largest supervolcanoes? Let's dig into the science and separate the facts from the fiction. First, let's get our bearings. Yellowstone isn't just a park, it's a massive volcanic caldera. Think of it as a giant bowl-shaped depression left behind by a colossal eruption hundreds of thousands of years ago. Beneath this caldera lies a huge magma chamber a reservoir of molten rock that fuels all the famous geysers and hot springs. This whole system is alive and dynamic. The ground in Yellowstone is constantly, almost imperceptibly breathing, rising and falling as magma and gases shift deep below. So when a crack appears, it's natural to ask, is the monster waking up? The crack in question, which appeared in the Grand Teton National Park, just south of Yellowstone, was pretty dramatic. It was long, deep and certainly looked alarming. Pictures and videos went viral, with headlines suggesting it was a sign of an impending eruption. It's an exciting, if terrifying, thought. But geologists, the detectives of our planet, have a more measured and scientific explanation. After careful investigation, scientists determined that this specific crack wasn't directly caused by magma moving under the caldera. Instead, it was the result of a much more common geological process, a landslide. The area where the crack appeared is on a hillside, and heavy rainfall and seismic tremors, even small everyday ones, can destabilize the ground, causing parts of it to slump and slide downhill. This movement pulled the earth apart, creating the fissure. So in this case, the direct cause was gravity and water, not rising magma. Does that mean we can all relax and forget about the supervolcano? Not so fast. While this particular crack wasn't the volcanic harbinger some feared, it's part of a much larger, fascinating story of geological activity. The Yellowstone region is one of the most seismically active areas in the United States. It experiences thousands of earthquakes every year. Most are too small for us to feel, but they are all recorded by a network of seismometers that act as the volcano's heartbeat monitor. These earthquake swarms, as they're called, are incredibly important. They often happen when tectonic stresses in the Earth's crust are released. But they can also be caused by the movement of hot water, steam, and gases through the intricate plumbing system that feeds the geysers. It's like the clanking and groaning of an old house's pipes, but on a geological scale. Sometimes, these swarms can also indicate magma moving or shifting deep underground. That's why scientists pay such close attention. By mapping the location and depth of these tiny quakes, they can create a 3D picture of what's happening in the volcano's plumbing. Another key sign of activity is ground deformation. As I mentioned, the ground in Yellowstone breathes. Using incredibly precise GPS instruments and satellite radar, scientists can measure this movement down to the millimeter. Over the years, they've observed the caldera floor rise and fall by several centimeters. This is a direct result of the magma chamber below either inflating with new molten rock or deflating as it cools and crystallizes. It's a slow, ponderous process, a sign of the immense forces at play. So, while a single surface crack might be explained by a landslide, it exists within this broader context of constant, subtle change. The very existence of the Tetons themselves is a testament to this dynamic environment. The Teton Range is a fault block mountain range, meaning it was pushed up along a massive fault line. The shaking and shifting that created those mountains are still happening today, just on a much slower, human, unnoticeable timescale. The crack is a symptom of living on a geologically active planet. What would a true sign of an impending eruption look like? Geologists have a pretty good idea, based on studying other volcanoes around the world. It wouldn't be just one crack. We would expect to see a dramatic increase in the frequency and intensity of earthquakes, with the quakes becoming shallower and shallower as magma moves toward the surface. We'd see rapid and significant ground uplift. We're talking meters, not centimeters. 
the temperature and chemical composition of the geysers and hot springs would change drastically as superheated gases from the magma forced their way up. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, a partnership of scientists from the U.S. Geological Survey, the University of Utah, and other institutions monitors all of this 24-7. They are the guardians of the volcano. They have a clear, color-coded alert system to inform the public if things change. Currently, Yellowstone is at green normal, meaning the volcano is behaving as expected for a dormant but active system. The odds of a super-eruption in our lifetime are incredibly low. Statistically, an eruption of that magnitude happens only once every 600,000 to 700,000 years, and the last one was 640,000 years ago. So while we might be due in geological time, that could still mean thousands of years from now. A much more likely, though still rare, event would be a smaller hydrothermal explosion or a localized lava flow. So, the next time you see a headline about a crack in Yellowstone, take a breath. Remember the science. That crack is a reminder that our planet is not static. It is a living, breathing entity constantly reshaping itself through fire and pressure. It's a piece of a puzzle that scientists are diligently putting together, using every clue, from the tiniest tremor to the grandest mountain, to understand the incredible power that lies just beneath our feet. These phenomena aren't just threats. They are windows into the very processes that created the world we live in. Thank you so much for joining me on this geological journey today. If you found this fascinating, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell so you don't miss our next deep dive into the wonders of science. Stay curious.